my friends, today on Yoga Mat Week, I'm giving you tips on how to clean your yoga mat. So a bunch of you have written into me through Facebook and asked about this. And unfortunately, I do not have a universal answer. One of the big things that I learned doing this whole Yoga Mat Week thing and really researching all these mats and what they're made of is that all of these mats are really unique. So they're all gonna need to be cleaned in different ways. We have open cell construction and closed cell construction mats if you missed that video. But let me dive into some tips. You definitely wanna clean your mat once a week. <laughs> Let's take a look at Jade, for example, because they're a pretty common brand. It says to hand wash with cold water and mild soap. So another universal tip is you don't wanna use a lot of soap, okay? Some mats, absolutely no soap. In here, for example, Jade is saying mild soap. So here it's saying, you know, hand wash with cold water, be pretty gentle. For example, the Yogo travel mat we looked at, you can literally just spray that thing down in the shower and then it has those little loops where you can just hang it to dry in the shower. If we look at Manduka, and I'm gonna read their little thing that comes around your mats. When you get your mat and they have these like instructions wrapped around them, really read those and look at them or take a picture with your phone so you know how to care for your mat. Okay, this one says, wipe it down with a gentle household cleaner or Manduka mat wash and then air dry in the sunshine. Our pro mats love the sunshine. Refrain from putting your mat in the washing machine. Okay, other people I read on forums say that they put their mat in the washing machine and it works out great. Manduka is clearly saying not to do that. Manduka is also saying their mats love the sunshine. Jade mats, you don't want to leave them out in the sun. So, you know, you really want to read the instructions again for your specific mat. And I don't think I even realized until taking on this project um, how different these mats really were in terms of materials. Now, some bonus tips for you. If you do want to just just make a general cleaner that is probably safe for almost all mats. You can make your own, just have it be 50% water and 50% vinegar, okay? And that's gonna work pretty well. But my favorite thing to use to clean mats is these Yogini Cleany towelettes. And I have 200 of them, yet I could not find one in my house to film with this video. But here's a picture of it right here. I love these because they come in lavender and lemongrass. They're pretty much safe to clean any mat. Um, now that I know there's so many different kinds, I don't wanna make blanket statements, but really gentle, they have essential oil. And basically what I love about them is you can use them to clean your own body. So I carry them around in my backpack. So after I teach a class or between classes, if I'm going out to chai or tea or whatever, I can just kind of freshen up. But I can also use that same um, wipe not necessarily the same wipe, but the same brand and everything. I, you know, I have five in my bag at any given time to clean my mat. And the reason I really love cleaning my mat with wipes as opposed to just a spray is that I can really see the dirt coming off of it, you know, because it's a disposable wipe and you'll see how dirty your mat was. And I don't know, that's just satisfying to me to really see kind of the grime coming off. So whether you make your own little solution with the, the bottle or you invest in the Yogini Cleanies and use them to clean clean your mat and your body when you're on a rush and on the go. Uh, those are my tips for you on how to clean your mat. Make sure to like this video if you found this helpful. Keep hanging out with me for Yoga Mat Week. Remember, there's gonna be giveaways. We're like reviewing so many more mats and independent designer mats. It's gonna be awesome, okay? So you want to follow me on Instagram at Larkin Yoga TV. Join my private Facebook group if you haven't already, yogahackscommunity.com, especially for details about the giveaways. And from my heart to yours, namaste.